Hey everyone, it's Eric here with my 25 XL. Uh, I'm just gonna give you another update on my tank. Um, I just installed the Apex Trident a little while ago, and uh, I'm just gonna give you a brief tutorial, not a tutorial, just um, a quick tour on what I did and how I got it working. Um, also did some uh, benchmarking in terms of how long it takes for, I just did the, I timed the alkalinity test, so you'll see how that works um, and how long it takes. Um, it's actually given me kind of a surprise on my alkalinity level, um, but I think we need to give it a day or two, probably just to stabilize. Um, also, calcium seems a little high, magnesium is spot on, but anyway, here's just a um, quick view of how, how I've installed a few things and, um, and what it looks like. Most important part is not to plug the Neptune into your Apex unit, and it warns you, so if you go into your task through your dashboard, You'll scroll down and you will find um, the Trident initial setup and you click on that it'll warn you right away not to plug it in and if you have to unplug it and then you just go through step by step it guides you right to the end. So I've set up the Neptune unit underneath the tank uh, which is next to the sump so the drainage and intake hoses go into the back. Um, it's already doing its initialization process so you can kind of hear it whirring away. Um, this is Still going through initialization, um, but I've set everything back up and um, just enclosed the area back to normal and put all my equipment back in. Um, it takes a while to go through the initialization process, I found though. And then this side is where I put the drainage tube, sorry, the intake tube. Um, so they say to keep it a couple inches above the bottom, so I've got it clamped in there with the clamp they provide. And then <clears throat> back here is where I have all of the um, waste going into a bucket. I've also got my auto top off back here as well so I just got some holes in the wall there but you can see the clear tube coming in through the back and that's where it's draining in the bucket. It's going through uh, test phase now so you can see some of the fluid in there and uh, that's just my auto top off so I don't have to top off as much. Here are some screenshots just to show the different phases that it goes through during the setup. So it'll do uh, initialization, then it's going to go through and test alkalinity, and it'll do magnesium and calcium twice before it actually finishes the entire setup and it's sitting idle and ready to go. Now on the Apex dashboard, you can see I've already done the first measurement process, which took quite a while. So um, I'm going to do an alkalinity test to see if this value changes. Um, and you can take a note of the time on the screen here. Um, it takes on average about 10 minutes to complete the test um, but when you do plug in your Neptune depending on when you get it there is an update for it so it's got to go through uh, I guess it's like a software update or maybe a firmware update I guess um, and then once it does that it's going to go through the initial um, the initialization process all over again so it's probably another 15 or 20 minutes I'm gonna say um, but once it's complete, everything just goes back to normal um, and your measurements are still at the uh, last measurement that it took. So you'll see now I just fast forwarded, it's testing and fast forward again, it's now idle and it's changed my alkalinity level to 657, still low. So it's taken about 11 minutes, it's finished at uh, 333, it started at 322 I believe. So it's about 11 minutes to complete that test. Now if you click on the icon, it'll give you different options here. So you can see like a histograph, which I don't have anything yet because I just set it up. It tells you the amount of fluid left in the containers in each one. And then it also gives you details on how many tests are left approximately and how full your waste container is. I'm using a five gallon bucket and you actually set that up during the initial setup. Um, you can set those parameters for the waste bucket on its own. Once you're all set up, you can click on the gear and expand it. You can do two separate tests, combined or just alkalinity. I don't know why they don't have the magnesium and calcium alone, but you can also set your schedule. I left mine at the default four times a day. Um, you can change it up to 24. That would be insane. So I just left mine as is. And then you can also go in and check the status of the Trident. And this is where I found out that I needed the updated software version. So I did do the update. Um, and then did initialization. You can perform a calibration here as well. Um, your container, your waste container, you can set the size of it. I set mine to 3,000. I'm using like a five, uh, five gallon bucket, so uh, I just kept it at that for now. And that's 
pretty much it. I think once you're set up, you're good to go. There's probably some other things I haven't really explored yet, but um, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments down below or any questions, and I'll answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching.